Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Pokemon Snap tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reveal some of the hidden Pokemon throughout the games. Now, if I do not get all of them, that is okay, I'll just make a part two. But today I'm going to show you how to reveal and capture on camera some of the hidden Pokemon. So as we come up here, we have to wait for the Pidgeys to get out of our way. We actually have to get this Pikachu right here, keep throwing the apples, and make the Pikachu go over to the surfboard over here. Thus giving us a surfing Pikachu, which is worth quite a few points. Next up is if we come over here, you can see it's obviously Snorlax. But you won't be able to identify it unless you hit it with a pester ball. Now, there's also an alternative. If you play the Poke Flute, he will start dancing. Now you can always throw a Pokeball or a Pester Ball into the waters to get a Magikarp to come up, but that doesn't exactly count. Completely missed him. Next up we have this rolling thing followed by an Eevee of sorts. Now, if you actually throw a pester ball at this pink thing, you will find out it is actually a Chansey. Next up, we move on to the tunnel. Now, there aren't as many here, but I'll be showing you all of them anyway. You can get Zapdos to come out of this egg, but if you want to see that, I have another tutorial on how to do that. It also kind of alludes to it on the wall up here. And if you take a picture of this floating orb, you will realize later on that it is actually a Haunter, but I'll show you that later. Next up, there are three Magnemites here, and as you know, three Magnemites equals a Magneton. What you have to do is use your Apple food to make the Magnemites come together and form a Magneton. And that wraps it up for the cave, for now anyway. I will be showing Diglett later on. And as you can see, the glowing orb from earlier turns into a Haunter on the photo selection screen. Next up, we head to the volcano. We have to skip along a little bit for this one. Now over in the distance, you will start to see a Magmar and a Charmander. Now, if you hit this Magmar with either an Apple or a Pester Ball, something kind of funny will happen. Should happen, anyway. What will happen is the Magmar will sometimes use a fire attack and evolve Charmander into a Charmeleon. You can also get a bunch of Charmander to appear in this one location. Though I do not know if it's going to happen. As you can see, other Charmander are coming down from the hill. And also, they're really adorable in this game. I showed it in my egg video, but I'll show you it again. If you knock this Charmeleon into the lava... If you knock the Charmeleon into the lava, it will evolve into a Grand Charizard. 
which I'm sure is worth a lot of points. Next up, we head to the river. Now, I won't be able to show you all of these Pokemon quite yet, as I haven't learned the technique, but I can show you a few really tricky ones. Just a fun fact, if you throw an apple here, a Bulbasaur will emerge and do some funny poses, which are worth quite a few points compared to the others. Now, as you may know, Shelter plus Slowpoke equals Slowbro, but I haven't quite figured out how to get the Shelter onto the Slowbro. Over here, you'll find a sleeping Vileplume. To get it to wake up, simply play the Poke Flute. As we speed up, we will go across the river. Now, if you want these Metapods to come down, all you have to do is hit them. With a pester ball, of course. And again, and to send them right back up, simply hit them with another pester ball. Now, I covered this in my Gates video, but I'll say it again anyway. If you come over here, you can find a Porygon. And to get it in its normal color, simply hit it once again. I absolutely love Porygon. And there is a rare chance that a Cloyster can come up through this water. But since it hasn't happened, I can't show it to you. But it'll basically fly out of the water like a shelter. But of course, it'll be a Cloyster. And that wraps it up for the river. For now, anyway. Next up, we head to the cave for some interesting ones. Now, we have to get kind of far down to see them, but they'll happen. There's actually one right here. If you hit it with a pester ball, it may look like a Bulbasaur until you get close enough. But it's really... It, it, it's really... Oh, forget it. There's a bunch more over here. But I think you get the point. If you get close enough, you notice their faces are, in fact, a ditto. Now, you must hit it with the pester ball for it to render a ditto. Otherwise, it will call it a Bulbasaur for some stupid reason. Now, next up, what you need to do is pester ball this weeping bell into the water. What will happen is the Weeping Bell will transform into a Victory Bell. You're just gonna have to take my word for this one, because I can't really get it to, you know, get in the water. If you manage to hit this Zubat Pikachu duo with the Pester Ball, it will transform into Balloon Pikachu. But I'm not even gonna try that one, so once again, you're gonna have to take my word for it. And that just about wraps it up for the cave. Oh, never mind. Jigglypuff will appear on this rock. I actually didn't know that. Haha. -ha. So Jigglypuff will appear here and start singing, which actually sounds kind of creepy in the cave environment. I didn't know that one, so there, you got a bonus. Finally, we move on to the valley for our last hidden Pokemon. Now, you're gonna have to follow a specific set of instructions for this one. You'll see this Magikarp splashing in and out of the water. What you have to do is hit it with a Pester Ball. 
and the Mankey will send it flying all the way across the map, which I think is freaking hilarious. But yeah, if you hit that match card with a pest ball, the Mankey will punch it, sending it flying all the way across the map. But we have more things to do before that. If you hit these Geodude, Sand Slash will re-emerge. And Graveler will come down, but there's a chance for some better Graveler shots later on. Next up, you will notice the Magikarp has resurfaced back over here. You will have to hit the Magikarp with a Pester Ball into the water, sending it flying into the waterfall, transforming it into a Gyarados! Oh, and if you use the if you use the music here, the Graveler will perform the group dance too. But Gyarados is much more worth your time. Next up, what you have to do is capture these star use on camera, or hit them with a pester ball, I suppose. And they will go into the whirlpool, summoning a star me. What you also can do is throw some pester balls into it and perform the Dragonite's Ritual. And folks, that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed some of the secret Pokemon. Now I know there are more, so I'll get on that later. But thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace out.